What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Kamal Forest Keeper. I'd be excited to go hiking in that forest. Keep the bad people out. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's get the chat closed out. Get the commands out. Oh, Lavisa Cold Eyes. We got some green on red. I like that. Sounds pretty fun. As far as our opening hand, though, goes, yeah, we've only got one land. Yeah, let's go. If we had two lands and uh, cultivate it, I'd maybe keep, but. Um, yeah, just not wild. Let's go ahead and mulligan on this one. Okay, and we go one land, Cage Sun. Um. We can get into spots where we can go Fauna Shaman, chunking the, uh, chunking, like, the Regal Force, maybe grab one of our mana dorks. Um, yeah, let's go to keep. We are on the draw, and we have the scry, so keep that on top. Okay, that makes it a little bit better, but yes, welcome to some Kamal. So let's start off with him. So, uh, t uh one green mana, target land, uh, target land becomes a 1-1 creature until end of turn, then for 5 mana, creatures you control get plus 3 and gain trample until end of turn. Alright, let's get this up and running. Draw that force for the turn. Uh, get that down, and then let's go ahead and pass the turn. But he gets a little Vista Cold Eyes. Each creature that's a Barbarian, Warrior, or Berserker gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. Pretty cool, man. Uh, she saw a reprinting in uh, the Dual Decks recently, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get the Forest down. Let's go for the Fauna Shaman. Get her down, and then uh, go ahead and pass the turn. We're looking at next turn, getting on the Tectonic Edge. We can chunk the um, Empress of Beast right now. We're not really in a huge spot to where we can get a bunch of lands up and running. So more than likely, we're going to chunk the uh, the Beast Empress. Extra planar land. Ooh, the the nice version. Looking pretty sweet, man. Yeah, I almost picked up some of those, uh, <laughs> the inventions. That's what it is. I almost picked up some of the inventions, but I, I opted not to. Um, let's go ahead and get the Forest down. Do we want to... Yeah, I kind of want to cast it right now. So let's go and activate Fauna Shaman. Let's chunk the... I'm actually... I want to hold on to both of these. So let's go and chunk the Empress Beast. Beast of Empress. And let's go ahead and grab the Tree Speaker. Any other creatures we kind of want to grab? Um, I'm trying to think if I put Lana War... No, just the Tree Speaker. So let's grab the Tree Speaker. Where are you, buddy? Okay. Goes into the hand. Let's get them down. Anything else we do? No, we're going to go to pass turn. All right, so we're looking at next turn. We can level up for one. There's going to be two green mana. We can add to our mana pool. We can get down the tectonic edge. Then we get into spots where we finally get down Cage Sun, Regal Force, Avengers, Endicar. Kind of have some fun from there. So, All right, so we've got the uh, the Cold Eye cold eye Stare coming in hot. All right, we get, draw another force. Let's go and get that down. Uh, let's go and level up the uh, Tree Speaker. And that puts us at four mana. There's nothing we can really do for four. And I don't really want to activate Shama chunking either one of these because if we just keep ripping our lands like that, then eventually we'll get into spots where we have a nice little Avengers in the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let them do their thing. And actually, give me one sec. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm recording in the morning. And so uh, my voice was still getting a, use, getting a little used to talking. But. Um, but yeah, as far as the deck goes, man, this is pretty much just straightforward, just mono green ramp, man. We've got good green stuff in here. We've got uh, Natural Order. We've got a bunch of ramp stuff, uh, a bunch of uh, Stampede stuff, like Pathbaker, Ibex. We've got uh, Avenger, not Avenger, uh, the, what is his name? Crater Hoof Behemoth, there we go, Mr. Crater Hoof himself. Uh, we've got, of course, we've got Genesis Wave in here, man. Gotta have Genesis Wave. And then looks like we've got the Flowstone Overseer. Uh, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn with two red mana floating. Uh, so they're going to be able to activate it for one and then not take care of any of our creatures. So it would actually be nice to uh, take care of the extra planar lens if we can get get rid of that uh, that flowstone activation over there. So, But other than that, yeah, it's just some uh, fun fun green stuff in here, man. All right, they're swinging in for seven. That's going to drop us down to 20. Uh, the next turn we're looking at uh, 11 coming across. Yeah, we we can do something with that. Kadoma's Reach. So looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, let's go ahead and go... That's going to leave up two more mana if we go for Cage Sun. If we get the uh, Tectonic Edge down. Yeah, let's go, go, go ahead and go for Cage Sun. We're going to name green on this one. Then it puts us in a spot next turn. Where hopefully we can kind of rally from there. And did... Okay, it automatically... Man, that always trips me out whenever it does that. <laughs> it always... Uh, just automatically picks green for you sometimes, and just I get afraid that I just clicked on like red. <laughs> I guess if it, it it looks to see what your identity can be or something, I don't know why. But anyway, so we've got that gun. Uh, we've got the cage sun down. Now we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We're gonna have eight mana coming out of our forest. Gratuitous violence, nice man. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're going to have to uh, get some chump blocks up and running. Because uh, basically, a gratuitous violence. If a creature you control with the damage to a creature or player, it deals double that damage instead. So we're going to have to kind of uh, re-rack on how much uh, mana we've got. Not mana, how much life total we've got. We're looking at 6, um, 12, and then 8. So we've got 14 coming across. So we, Yeah, let's go and chump block on uh, one of the creatures. Let's go and chump block on the uh, Overseer. The Flowstone Overseer. That's going to be um, 6, 12. That's going to be 12. Put us down to 8 coming across. Okay. And then we can still lead off with Avenger of Zendikar. We're not going to have that many naturalized. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So we'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just leave one more green mana floating to take care of gratuitous violence. Yeah, let's go ahead and go Avenger of Zendikar. We just need some blockers at this point. Okay. Get all those little plant tokens. 1, 2s. Um, they're going to deal double. Do you want to take care of extra planar your lens? Because they're going to be able to start picking us off with the Flowstone Overseer. But we're also in a spot to where that gratuitous violence is going to be an issue for us. We can try and... If they're going to deal double, we can draw a few more cards with the Regal Force. Get into spots where we can go with Kadoma's Reach and just go really wide next turn. And just start blocking. Because um, we're going to take out the extra planar lens. That's going to leave two more activations. One, two, three, four for the Overstone Seer. Yeah, let's go and take care of the gratuitous violence. Yeah, I'm going to take care of that. We still have the tree speaker. Let's see. They're going to add that. Uh, it's going to add two mana to our mana pool. Okay. Yeah, and let's just go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. So if they want to swing in, we can trade on a Vigor of Zendikar. We've got enough plant tokens to kind of jump block on some of them. Uh, we do have to watch out for the... Um, Flowstone Overseer. But next time we're looking at going Regal Force. If we can minimize the amount of damage that we're going to take, and then we can draw a card for each green creature that we control. So if we just chump block, you know, three of the plant tokens, we're looking at one, two, three, four, and that'll be five creatures that we, I mean, five cards that we get to draw. So with a Cage Sun, then we can finally get down Kamal and hopefully get into a spot to where we can stabilize. But, uh, but yeah, the deck is pretty much a straightforward green ramp. A lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. I realized as I was uh, looking to build a deck for my channel, I always when I play against Kamal, I'm always just like, hey, man, hey, shout out to you, man. He's one of my favorite magic cards. And um, I realized, you know, I don't have a deck for him in, in paper or in online magic. And um, so here we are. And then I actually don't have a true uh, mono green ramp deck. I have one mono green ramp deck, and that's my Omnet deck, and it's the only paper commander deck that I have. So uh, I just always find it funny that I play so much commander, but... I, I truly only have one complete paper commander deck that I could take to like a, uh, a sanctioned event. I mean, not even a sanctioned tournament or anything, just a, just a card store that's not just proxied stuff. So, pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to build him. He's uh, he's always been a, uh, a fun little card to build around. As far as the other stuff in the deck besides just uh, green ramp, good stuff. Uh, we're running the uh, Root Awakening, and we're running a few other... Um, Okay, now they're going to start activating the Flowstone. I, I'm actually okay with this because it's going to use a lot of mana. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, I'm actually, uh, we're using a lot of the Awaken the Land style cards in here. We have a pretty heavy theme in there. Okay. And we're getting double activation on the plants. All right. Bring it, man. Let's see how they want to swing in. They do not have the gratuitous violence anymore. But we need to get into a spot to where um, I may let, like, a, a few more damage kind of swing through. That way we can try and get a bigger regal force. We're looking at seven mana. Switch your library for, okay. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can uh, leave as much stuff up in intact, and that way we don't have to, uh, we can draw more cards off the uh, Regal Force swinging in. Or if they don't even swing in, because we do have Avengers in the card at 6-6, six, six, so okay, that's good. Thawing Glaciers, you can send back to him. Let's see what we draw. Draw another force. I will definitely take that. Let's go ahead and get that down. So we're looking at, uh, get a plus one counter on all of our plants. Yes, we're going to use that ability. Make them two threes. And now, let's go ahead and go for the Regal Force. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, is there anything we want to... They have no snow out there with that um, mouth out there. So we can go ahead and go Tectonic Edge. We're going to draw green card. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay, we draw Mana Vault. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then uh, 5, 6, 7. So we can actually go Tooth and Nail. Um, let's go ahead and go Kadoma's Reach. That way we can really get some stuff up and running, and then we can go Tooth and Nail next turn. So let's go ahead and go Kadoma's Reach. And let's grab two forests, put them on the battlefield. Put one, one goes into our hand. 
We're getting extra little counters for our plant tokens. Yes, we're going to use that ability. And we still have one mana left over. We'll go ahead and get down the mana vault. And then, uh, do we want to swing in or anything right now? I think at this point, um, we have Tooth and Nail, so we're probably just going to go ahead and Tooth and Nail for um, a little Crater Hoof action. Have some fun with that, man. And I'm just going to go ahead and hold back and let them kind of... They want to swing in, swing in through this mess of the whole Kamal's force. And we need to get Kamal down, too, on this one. Sorry, it's just been a spot to where they, they, the way they were swinging in, we're just trying to get as much value out of stuff coming in. Cage Sun, they've got their own Cage Sun. <laughs> Definitely a mono-color matchup on this one. I'm digging this. And we can get in a spot to where we can... Um, we can get down the Mossworth Bridge and exile and see what we got going on. All right, so they're tapping for nine mana. <laughs> Hopefully we survive this one. We're going to be online to get down a really nice tooth and nail next turn. Okay, going for the tree speaker. If that's what you're going to go for, go for it, man. So if we go for, that's going to be two more. They can do one more activation. Poor tree speaker. Didn't even see it coming. But, yeah, so if we go tooth and nail... um, We've got a couple different things. We've got Eternal Witness. We can grab the Naturalize out of the graveyard to take care of the Cage Sun. And if they want to swing in, they can swing in. We can also, yeah, but basically the way we're doing the, the math, if we go, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. We're looking at five creatures with Crater Hoof. Um, that should be enough. To, well, that's 25. And then base, that's, yeah, that's going to be pretty close to kind of closing it out. We'll see. Okay, they are not swinging in. So we'll kind of decide what we want to do. Do we have Eternal Witness out of the graveyard? We have uh, Kamal if we need to get it down to kind of just uh, get some, turn all our lands into some creatures for that additional Crater Hoof. So we'll kind of see what's going on. Uh, not going to pay for Manaval. We are good, Manaval. Nope. Grab a Soul Ring. Let's go ahead and put the Forest down. Get an additional counter on our plant tokens. Let's go ahead and get Soul Ring down. Yes, we're going to use that ability. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at, let's re-rack on how much mana we've got, because we're in a spot to where we can go Kamal. Um, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got 5 colorless mana, and then just tapping one of our 4s for the Tooth and Nail. We can still get down Kamal and kind of, uh, kind of rally from there. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 creatures, 7, 8, putting them on the battlefield. Yeah, we should have a, a lethal Tooth and Nail. So let's go ahead and get Kamal down uh, just to kind of add to that count. So we're looking at um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then let's go ahead and go. Let's go Tooth and Nail, Entwine. We're looking at... And then 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six. And what we can do is, let's go ahead and we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough for entwine. So let's go ahead and target land becomes a one, one. That way we can add to our crater hoop bonus. If we want to swing in, we can. Let's have for one more. Yeah, that's going to leave 10 mana, which is going to be one more activation. That's going to be count one, one creature, and then we can go tooth and nail, grab that crater hoof, and then swing in. Okay, there we go. Let's go and go in for the entwine now. Let's grab Mr. Crater Hoof, and then what else sounds pretty good to us? And then we can go for the Thunderfoot Bayloth. As long as you're, as long as you control your commander, yes. Let's go for the Thunderfoot Bayloth. Looks like our opponent might have scooped it up. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to go for Crater Hoof to get the extra lethal damage, and then we're also going for the um, Thunderfoot Bayloth. Where, where'd you go, man? There we go. So if we'd have got that down, that would have given everybody a static plus two, plus two bonus, and given them trample. So that would have been, man, what are we looking at? We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight creatures coming across. Uh, crater Hoof's nine, ten. <laughs> Let's do some math real quick. Where's my calculator? Okay, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19, so everyone's going to get 100, 100 bonus, then plus, uh, <laughs> we're looking at 112, uh, 117. Yeah, that's a, that would have been pretty lethal right there, so I will definitely take that. Hey, come on, man. What's up, buddy? All right, guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks.